Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the shoe together for you. Um, I have um, don't have any more. I only have a tiny little bit of this fabric left, not enough to make another shoe. So I'm just going to make a, um, the matching set to this exactly um, as I made this one, so I'll have a pair. Okay, um, for this one I made, um, I used Pellon on this piece, and I used Pellon in the um, uh, tongue. So what I tried to do is match one um, piece of my tongue to uh, as close as I could get. It's not a perfect match. It's a completely different butterfly, but at least it'll be close. So I'm warming this up, and this is going to be my top part of my tongue. So I'm going to iron some of the wrinkles out of this, and I'm going to grab my pellon. And I'm going to take um, the front of my tongue and I'm going to cut out a piece of pellon. I was really um, hoping this pellon would work better than it did for me, but it wasn't meant to be. Okay, this is fusible. So you have a shiny side and then you have a dull side. So your fusing material is on the shiny side. So when you're ironing it, you don't want to. You're going to get this um, uh, fusible material on your uh, board. So what you need to do is cut it as close to the fabric as you can possibly get it. And then when you iron it, it will only be ironing itself onto your piece of fabric and not onto your ironing board. And um, not onto your iron. You can use pins on this if you want to to hold your um, pellon in place. And you can always trim it up later also. Okay, so I got it pretty close. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to iron this on. And this is going to be the front of my tongue. And I've got my iron set a little at past um, half. Okay. And there it is. Now it's permanently attached to this piece of fabric. This is called um, Deco Bond, I think. This is Pellon, and it is called um, Decor Bond. Firm iron-on backing with extra crispness, extra crisp, crispness, and it's um, used in all kinds of things. Okay, so the tongue's ready. So now I'm going to do is put this together. Let me get the wrinkles out of this one. I'm going to put uh, front, front sides together, and I'm going to pin them because I'm going to sew around that. Okay, so my tongue's ready for sewing. Now I'm going to, I've already, um, didn't matter because nobody's going to see the inside sole of these shoes. So I just took whatever piece I had and I just glued it to the bottom of my um, cardboard that we made. Okay, so this is the front piece of my, and this is the back. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on this shoe. I'm going to iron my pellon to the back of my front of my shoe. And this one I'm going to put a couple pins in. And I'm going to do the same thing I did, um, shiny side to the fabric.
and I'm going to cut it as close to um, the fabric as possible. Now if I wasn't using this, and this is just plain uh, cotton, I would have to use interfacing because it's just too um, thin of fabric to stand up on its own. So I would be using uh, plain interfacing on this to give it some bulk. my pins off on one side and I'm going to press and take the pins off the other side and press. There you go. It's ready to go. That's going to be our front shoe. I'm going to let it cool a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to pin it to my back piece. And I'm going to sew all the way around this. So it's right side fabric to right side fabric. Okay, it may not line up exactly the same way, but um, it's very close. Okay, so then put your picture sewing machine out and we're going to um, make um, quarter of an inch seams on all these shoes. So um, I like to sew with my needle position right dead center and when you put your needle um, dead center of the uh, pressure foot and you line up against um, this right here, your, the side of your pressure foot, that's exactly of a quarter of an inch seam. So um, I'm going to sew this from uh, this point right here, up and around, and then down the other side. I'm going to leave this open because um, I'm going to turn this inside out. Okay, so I'm going to start that. Um, uh, just pick a point where the, where the curve is. Um, do a couple back stitches. rounded top on your um, tongues. I did a rounded top on the um, small tennis shoes, but on the um, high tops I did a square because it's just easier. tongue sewed. I sewed it um, from here up, turned, I made a complete square on the top of my tongue and I came down the other side. Now um, most most of your patterns and sewing directions will tell you to trim your edges. Um, I don't really do that, So, but you do have to uh, clip your corners. You want to clip your corners so you have, oh, maybe um, 
a sixteenth of an inch left on there because you don't want to get too close because you don't want it to um, come apart when you turn it inside out. So I just trim it like about a sixteenth of an inch from the uh, seam. And anytime you have a, 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 a curve on, on, on a piece of fabric like that, you want to um, make little clips so that it will lay flat once you turn your um, piece inside out. And if you want to, you can um, uh, trim your edges so it, it lies smooth. If I don't think I can get in close enough without um, cutting my stitches, I use these little clippers and I get a little bit closer just so I know for sure it will lie flat on the inside. Okay. All right, so once you do that, you're going to turn it inside out and use whatever you've got to um, push your seams out. You can use a, a knitting needle, you can use the top of your scissors as long as they're not too sharp and it won't go through your fabric. And anything that will help you turn this inside out. Okay, since we made square points on this, we want to try and get it, um, see how square that is? We want to try and get it to match the other one, so try and get it out as square as you can. Sometimes if you use too sharp of a point or you press too hard, you can end up going right through the fabric. So you want to use uh, a good pressure, but not enough to break through to the fabric. Okay, so you can see now that with that interfacing in there that um, I've got a pretty good tongue shape already on the um, uh, tongue. Okay, but I'm going to top stitch now. I'm going to top stitch, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around. Um, and then I'm going to uh, go an eighth of an inch on here too to seal this up because I'm going to have to glue this to the bottom of the um, the inside sole, and it's much easier to uh, glue if they're in one piece. So let me do that. Top stitching, if you're not familiar with sewing terms, Stop there and go to the number next part. Okay, so our tongue's ready. Now all we've got to do is um, take it. We're going to line it up to our um, shoe bottom, and we are going to um, glue it under. Okay, and I'll do that when we get back. Okay.